Good day. Today I'd like to talk about risk adjustment. Why do you need to know about risk adjustment? Well, risk adjusted reimbursement is the present and future of reimbursement in healthcare. If you want to get paid the most for the services that you render, then you must understand risk adjusted reimbursement and how risk adjusted scores are calculated. Now, what is risk adjustment? Risk adjustment is the process by which the medical complexity of managing a physician's patients are measured in order to determine the amount health insurers are compensated for their coverage of these patients. Efficient and accurate risk adjustment can increase the amount of money the government will pay for a patient's care. Inefficient and inaccurate risk adjustment will usually result in decreased payments. The objectives of risk adjustment are, one, to motivate clinicians to properly document the medical record. Two, for coders to properly select diagnoses codes. And three, to ensure that future reimbursement will properly reflect a patient's need for future medical care and resources. The end result is to ensure that healthcare insurers are properly compensated so they will enroll patients who they would not have enrolled previously because of the risk of high medical costs associated with these high-risk patients. Risk adjustment is used in Medicare Advantage plans, Medicare Part D prescription plans, Medicaid managed care plans, and plans obtained through the Obamacare insurance marketplace. Approximately a quarter of those insured in the U.S. are enrolled in risk-adjusted health care plans. Risk-adjusted plans will continue to spread into the private commercial insurance market in the future. Successful risk adjustment depends on accurate data being entered into the medical record and specific diagnosis codes being abstracted based on the medical record documentation. Unfortunately, most physicians are not well trained in diagnosis coding. This is partially due to the initial physician training that concentrated on CPT coding rather than diagnosis coding. This has been further exacerbated by the advent of drop-down menus for diagnosis codes in electronic healthcare record systems. These drop-down codes have resulted in inaccurate and incomplete diagnosis coding that many times do not reflect the medical record documentation. These inconsistencies negatively affect the risk-adjusted reimbursement that is received. So risk-adjusted reimbursement must be understood if you and your healthcare organization are to succeed. You have to understand it. Future videos will go into more depth about risk adjustment. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.